Hello everybody, it's Tiffany here. In this video, I wanted to share with you some tips on how to cope with homesickness as a starseed. So if you're a starseed that have figured out your um, origin or some of the star system that you're most connected to, then sometimes, you know, you, you can't help but feel like you want to go back. You're always like, ah, oh, I wish I'm just back in the Pleiades right now. Or take me home, baby. Take me back to Octarius. This is too much. <laughs> we all have those days, right? But um, if that gets out of hand, it can make you feel very ungrounded and even allow you to feel this disassociation from your earth temporal human self. So here are some tips on how to cope with that homesickness and integrate from it so that it doesn't always make you feel like you're an outsider of Earth or you don't belong here because you do belong here, girl. And we need you. We need your light. We need your love. And you're an amazing, wonderful person. Your laugh, your eyes, your wisdom. We need you here on Earth, man. <laughs> don't leave me alone here. <laughs> I need my crew, I need my brothers and sisters to do this with us together. So tip number one is to have meditation where you connect with your star being guides. So for example, if you are very open with your third eye, you can see that I have two guides that are always next to me in my auric field. An Octarian guide and a Palladian guide all the time. So whenever I need something, I can just turn next to them, next to them, and ask them the question. So I always feel like I'm part of this galactic team. I'm not like by myself. So that's tip number one is to work with your star being guides, right? Ask your higher self, send you a guide, and to start working with them. So then you're merging all of these energy back into your field instead of thinking it's something outside of you because it's not. It's already in you. You are a seed, a star seed. So um, we quote from a channeling session with one of my clients earlier today is that we're kind of like a seed, right, on Mother Earth. And we need to anchor ourselves as a tree to bring in the frequency of this galactic energy to Earth. And through this, also rooting ourselves into Earth. And with the roots that you grow into Earth, you start reaching out to other star seeds, other souls that needs you along your journey, whether it's to help you or for you to help them or to co-create with each other. And so that's um, number one, is to ground yourself and to integrate yourself with your star being guide. So then you can actually stay strong anchored and reach more people around your, your lives. Number two is to um, talk to other starseed, right? Sometimes, you know, when you use the word starseed or talk about aliens, a lot of people will be like, what did you take? Can I have some? <laughs> so it's really important to unite with other star seed, right? Especially those that have the same resonance as you. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all one, so it doesn't matter. Um, but it really do help to have someone that you can talk to who understand what you're saying instead of looking you in the eye and saying, what happens? <laughs> so find the connections, connect with other star seed and you can do this through using a Facebook group. You can do this through Instagram, through YouTube. There's so many ways and channels for you to connect with one another. Number three is to, you can connect with your mothership. So in my other videos, if you remember, I've talked about how there are healing chambers on the Pleiades, for example, that you can astral travel to in your dream time or in a deep meditation. You can also from time to time, uh, for me, it, this doesn't happen a lot, but I do remember there are certain periods of time where you'll be invited to your mothership, either for downloading teachings or to just connect with that resonance. So being aware and you can consciously even ask for these experiences, of course, with like the right protocol just jump, don't jump ship like oh there's a ship I'm gonna jump on it <laughs> there's so many galactic beings you want to make sure that the ship you're going on is a trusted one and one of the easiest one to 
connect to is Ashtar's starship, right? He is a light being and he's here to help us along our journey. So you can ask that. I have a lot of Pleiadian starseed clients who just connect with their Pleiadian guides and go into the healing chamber. So there are many ways to revisit your planet. So don't feel like you disconnected, you not. This uh, this universe is malleable, it's interconnected. And number four is opening up your Akash, rec uh, Akash records. So you can tune into a deep meditation and ask your spirit, spirit guides and your higher self to open your Akash and to show you some visions of yourself in that galactic star system. And through that, understanding yourself more as a star seed. And in my other videos, I've talked about how sometimes by doing that, you can re-download some of those gifts that you've already achieved in those lifetimes back into this temporal self. But our consciousness is very malleable, it's infinite. So you can tap into the Akash, bring in the energy field that you need, anchor it into the body. A great example is Cryon with Lee Carroll. Lee Carroll is an introvert. He's shy. He doesn't like to interact with people <laughs> like many of us, right? This 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 introvert complex of star seats and stuff. So what he does is actually when he channels Kryon, he opens his Akash and he brings back that energy where he was a leader. He is a commander of um, this group and to really allow himself to tune back into that vibration. And you might be able to see it from me time to time too. Uh, maybe not as much on YouTube, but on Facebook Live when I'm doing like sometimes free readings and channeling in our private sessions, like I morph into a different self. I'm not like sometimes I'm usually really giggly, uh, <laughs> dorky, funny self. When I'm teaching, when I'm holding space in a private session, I'm in like my highest self. I'm in a different vibration. I am in the channeler vibration. So those are the four tips that really helped me integrate my Octarian, Syrian, and Palladian energy without feeling homesick or disconnected because you're so connected. You all, they're always with you. These guys are multidimensional, right? But they won't reach out. They may not help unless you ask them to. Ask and you shall receive. So start exploring your multidimensional self. Start understanding yourself more. Reach out to other star seed. Come out of the spiritual closet and embrace your multidimensional abilities. If you have any question, you can comment below. Let me know. I hope that this information has helped you. If you like things that are about star seeds, spiritual healing, channeling, shadow work, inner work, uh, inner child work, please feel free to hit subscribe on my channel. There is usually, um, aside from these videos, sometimes I like to do free readings as well. So I know people love free channel messages. So be sure to stay tuned on that and find me on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. I would love to serve you, love to help you along your journey. Thanks for listening. Sending you so much love. Ciao.